Hey everybody, Luke Gordon here, and I'm back with another video about vertigo. This time a common question that I get when I'm treating people for vertigo, uh, BPPV in specific, which is those little rocks, those little crystals that get loosened to your inner ear canals. We've got to replace them with different maneuvers like the Epley and the Gafani. So uh, the question I get though is where do these rocks come from and are they normal? Um, so people will get this and like, well, why do I have rocks in my ear? Are there supposed to be rocks in my ear? Uh, where do they come from? What are they? So it's a two-part question. First of all, let's get the easy one out of the way. They are normal. These little rocks, these little crystals that we call otoconium, um, they live in an adjacent uh, organ, inner ear organ, as those semicircular canals, those hoops that we talk about. So they are completely normal. So this leads into the next uh, part of the question, which is, where are they coming from? Okay, so... If I had a model here, I could show you. But you, just, you have to bear with me. So you have your canals, your hoops. They look like this, right? So they're fluid filled and you've got them in different orientations. So you've got a three dimensional, you've got three hoops on each inner ear and, and it creates a three dimensional uh, model for head movements. So when you're moving your head around and that fluid moves in your head, then you get this input to your brain that says you're moving around. So next door to those, right next door is this little inner ear um, organ called your utricle. And your utricle has a jelly pad with these little rocks sticking to it. And those are your otoconia. And that's where they should stay. So what happens with BPPV is that those little rocks, those little crystals, somehow get dislodged from their little jelly pad and the fluid is continuous between the utricle and your semicircular canals. Those little crystals float over into the canals where they don't belong. And that's when you get BPPV which is positional vertigo. And that's when you get into, you know, diagnosing, which you've heard me talk about probably with Dix Hall Pike tests and supine roll tests. And that determines if you're gonna do the Epley maneuver or the Gafani maneuver. Either way, all we're trying to do is figure out if that crystal came off of the utricle, off the jelly pad, now it floated out into one of the canals, which canal is it in and which side are we talking about? And that dictates the treatment. Which I've got lots of videos on that that I'll link up at the end here. So that's what those little crystals are that's where they come from it's completely normal why your crystals came loose and floated in there could be anybody's guess sometimes it's a head trauma sometimes it's a trip and a fall i had a guy once playing racquetball ran into a wall knocked his head on the wall i've had people just doing like repetitive you know uh chopping or shoveling repetitive movement and then sometimes it's nothing at all it's purely luck of the draw as we get older it tends to be more common it tends to be more common on the side we sleep on our goal then with treatment is to get those little crystals out of the semicircular canals, popping back through, stick back over to the utricle where they came from so that they can do their job. So that's the basic answer to those questions. A little bit of bonus footage here. I will also tell you if you're curious, the why do you have these little crystals on your utricle? Seems kind of funky, right? So I just told you in your, in your canals, when you're moving your head around in three dimensions, the fluid moves in the canals and that tells your brain what types of movements your head is doing. It has nothing to do with gravity though. So that function of your inner ear is only working when your head is working. If I tip my head to the side and leave it there, there's no longer any input from those semicircular canals because I'm no longer moving. So that's the key. With the utricle, you've got a jelly pad with a little rock stuck to it. When I tip my head to the side, those are gravity dependent now. So those rocks are pulling down on the jelly pad, which is pulling on other sensory you know, tissue, sending information to my brain that says, Luke, your head is tipped to the right at 30 degrees or whatever. So that's the difference. It's a very necessary function of your inner ear. Maybe that will help you with this whole diagnosis of BPPV. You want those crystals, they're good for you, they just don't belong in your semicircular canals. So I hope that helps uh, clear up the air on what those things are, where they belong, where they came from, all that good stuff. I hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. Uh, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe before you go. Thanks for watching.